Hello there. Yes, it's time for another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a bit of a large, uh, a long uh, tip today, so we're going to dive right into it. And this has to do with data extraction, as I promised you a couple of weeks ago. And I'm going to show you how to extract the block information from your drawing and put it into a table that you can update automatically whenever you add more blocks. Okay, so we're going to dive right in. Pretty valuable information though, right? So to start off with, we're going to go to the Insert tab of the ribbon, and I'm going to say Extract Data. Okay, easy enough. And I'm going to create a new extraction. We're going to do this completely from scratch so that there's no surprises. I have nothing up my sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say Next. And I think I'm going to put this file into, it makes a DXE file for data extraction. I'm going to put this into my AutoCAD 2011 directory, and let's name it after my very favorite magazine, Catalyst. Okay, let's save that. And now you can select the objects in your drawing, or you can, in this case, I'm just going to say just to grab the current drawing, but it's completely up to you. And it's going to give me way more information that I want. It's going to grab everything in my drawing, lines, arcs, circles, <laughs> you name it. I'm going to tell it, look, I just want to display the blocks only. And I don't care whether they have attributes in them or not. I just want all my blocks, all right? Easy enough? Let's go to the next one. And now, at this point in time, it. it it, it also wants to know the properties that you want to put into your table. I actually just want the name of the block and the count. So I'm going to do a right click, I'm going to say uncheck all, and but you'll notice I can't go to the next screen until I tell it I want at least one more piece of information. So we're going to make it, we're going to make it happy. We're going to, uh, we're going to, let's go to general, and uh, I'm going to just pick anything in here. I'm going to say layer. Maybe that's something you'd actually want to include in your definition, but I'm going to say uncheck all, and I'm just going to pick layer, so that it will allow me basically to go to the next step. So I'm going to say next. You'll see now it does let me go to the next step. Thank you, AutoCAD. And here I have the count. I have the name of the block. And I showed you B count a couple of weeks ago. Remember that? Much faster way to if you just want to count your blocks. And underneath here, I don't care about this layer column. So now I can hide it. So it does allow me to hide it later if I don't want it. And I don't. So let's go to next. And I want to insert a data extraction table into my drawing. I'm going to make this great chart, this great table in my drawing. And uh, you also need to tell it the table style that you want to use. I'm going to be lazy and just use the default, but you probably have a table style that you much prefer, right? So let's give it a title, though. I'm going to call it, how about the lens blocks? <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. Yours will make much more sense than that. And go to next. And last but not least, it's going to ask me where do I want to place that table. So I'll put it like right about there. That's good enough. And let's zoom in, get a good look at it. You'll see there's my title. And you'll see that it has a count of all the blocks in my drawing, which I love. All right, so what happens if I add more blocks? Well, I'm going to do this the lazy way. I'm going to go inside the viewport here. I'm going to grab my car block there. And I'm going to say copy selection. I'm going to copy it from here. And of course, where else would you put cars but inside of the building, right? <laughs> I'm just illustrating that I'm adding more blocks. So, so we don't get too hung up with the fact that the cars are in the drawing or in the building. And let's see now. Now, it's not going to automatically update at this point yet. So I'm going to go back out to paper space and I'm going to select my table, do a right click and say update the table links. Okay. And then cross your fingers. Very important. And if I zoom in, you'll see that it knows, in fact, that I have four more cards. I'm now up to eight and updated. So you do have to select it again and tell it you want to update it. But that is pretty cool and pretty powerful, you have to admit. So I know that was a long tip for a Tuesday, but that's kind of, in a nutshell, some very valuable things that you can do with data extraction. So give it a try. Save yourself some time. And I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.